Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, as some of you know, I do like to grow a lot of stuff hydroponically. And, uh, you know, I like to grow stuff outside um, as well as inside. But when you're trying to grow with hydroponics outside, it can run into a lot of challenges. And I had this little hydroponic, a cracky hydroponic experiment that I was going to detail from the beginning. But I, just, I didn't, just because the simple fact is, when I first started growing it, the peppers they got ravaged i have two peppers in a 10 gallon tub i'll show you guys in a second but anyways the peppers were just getting ravaged i could not find any bugs on it but literally every new leaf that come out would be devoured so these peppers had actually no leaves no nothing and i thought well they're just going to die and i said if i <laughs> i could do a video on a stalk i guess but i just stuck with them i planned these things probably a little over a month ago put them in this little cracky setup outside you know no cover no nothing now somebody did give me a good suggestion on that as far and i'll show you that too when i show you the, the little setup here but hey it's uh coming pretty good so growing cracky style outside is possible it's very nice very easy let me just show you some of the results i have hold on okay so here are the peppers guys um they're sitting like a 10 gallon tote um and what I've done is, you know, just put basically two spots in it. Now, if you look at the bottom, you see the leaves. That's what was happening. I was just talking about. These things were literally getting ravaged on a daily basis. And I could not find anything or the thing that was biting them. So I kind of gave up on them. I was going to do like a little documentary on the beginning to the end of these things. But, uh, and I probably should have. But they were struggling so bad, I didn't think I'd have nothing but a stick in the video. So no sense in doing that. But anyways, these have been out here for a little bit over a month now, and as you can see, a lot, I mean, they're not very tall, but a lot of nice peppers on them, right there. This one's got a bunch of new shoots coming on, stuff, new little peppers going in there. Um, and I have not changed the um, nutrients in at one time. Now, in a suggestion I took from somebody, I put some stuff outside before, and I didn't have no way for the water to drain when it rained, and so... Uh, they basically just drowned some of the stuff I had. But what I did over here, you can look. I just took a little, like a 7 16th drill bit, and I drilled me a hole on each side. And so now when it rains or whatever, the um, the water just uh, flows out. Now this reservoir is full, even though I haven't done anything to top it off, and that's just because we've been having a tremendous amount of rain. I mean, there's still a culprit eating stuff. Look at that. Even though I can't find it. But anyway, I just wanted to do a little uh, update on some little cracky growing. This is so easy. I've done absolutely nothing but just set these peppers in here. And I'm very happy with the results. I am thinking about changing out the uh, the nutrients now. Because like I say, they've been here over a month. And I know they probably diluted down to practically nothing. I need to check it. So anyways, if you guys want, I'll keep you updated on these. Let me know. I'm going to be building some more. Setting them outside. Letting the sun do its work. And just basically setting it and forgetting it. Gotta love Cracky. Hey, you guys have an excellent day. Thanks a lot for watching, and take care. And, oh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, bye.